So the same process that we used to practice our A, D, A, and E chords, put them together. We're going to now apply to some new chords. We're going to use a C major chord, an F major chord, a C major chord again, and then back over here to a G major chord before we start the whole thing again with C. Let's have a closer look at our C, F, and G major chords, and then how to put them together, then play them with a the backing track. This is a C major chord. You want to take your index finger and put it right here on the C, the first fret of the B string. You want to make sure that it's arched around so that you don't cut the high E string off from ringing or interfere with the G string over here. You want to hear all three of those. The G string's open, the E string's open, the B string is C at the first fret. Then you want to reach your middle finger over here to the second fret of the D string, note E. Again, making sure that you don't cut the G string in between them from ringing open. Then reach your ring finger over here on the third fret of the A string. Now, all three of them are arched enough so that they're not interfering with any of the strings around them. You want to start here at the A string, this note C, and strum all the way across, and that is your C major chord. When you're picking it, you want to make sure that you've got all of the notes ringing clearly and cleanly before you start to strum it a little bit quicker. Get a simultaneous sound, and then you can start to strum back and forth. And you've got your C major chord. Notice that with the C, you definitely want to be able to get a placement of index, middle, and ring. It helps. It helps your finger motion. It helps your mind also, your brain, to remember the placement quicker. So eventually it'll be more simultaneous that you'll grab it, but for now, think index, middle, ring. Index, middle, ring. When you're trying to place those, and there you have your C major chord.